Howdy, howdy. Uh, Frosty Fartonia, and this is a short. I know, is it, is it a thank you? I suppose it sort of is. It sort of isn't. It's odd. Commemoration of 1,000 videos uploaded. Um, I'm here in Terraria, you know, as you do. You just sort of. Wee! Um, yeah, this is the house. I mean, I was in there. But, um, yeah, that doesn't matter. What matters, what matters <laughs> is, um, 1,000 videos I've uploaded to the YouTube. And, uh, yeah, not including the streams, of course. I think there's, like, I think it, 100, maybe, maybe less than 100 streams. But then a stack of them are, like, 10 hours, so. But, you know, quality over quantity. <laughs> um... Oh, it's not even about quality or quantity for me, really. So, I just uh, want to say thank you if you ever watched any of them for any period of time, one second or longer. <laughs> or any, you know, it's. I make them because I want to. And I really, you know, enjoy making content. And it's not necessarily about getting a thousands of views or whatever. That's a, you know, no, it's a it's a weird thing, worrying about the numbers and all that sort of stuff. It's, it can be quite detrimental to your uh, psyche. But at the same time, I'm playing games and trying out different new games and seeing if they're any good and sharing that experience with whoever wants to click on the video or whoever gets to see the video to click onto the video. And I don't know. I don't. I don't regret making any of it. I don't. Sometimes I got hot takes, <laughs> and uh, you know, you get comments, positive and negative. And if it's really, really bad, I'll delete the comment, of course. But for the most part, I'm more than happy for people to express their opinions, and I'll express mine. And I think it does have value. You know, you, you hear a lot of opinions are like. Uh, assholes. But it's like... An opinion is just an expression of an emotion. An expression of a feeling that you try and articulate. And that's what I'm trying to do in my videos. I'm just trying to articulate. Sometimes I'll just show gameplay. And I think there's value in that. And I try to sort of mix the two together. Gameplay and opinion at the end. So you can see for yourself. And make up your own mind. Because... Yeah, I mean, my, my my mantra at the end of the day is I want to enjoy every game. The, the goal is to have fun in, e in every game, in every experience, to try and, well, to be able to get the vibe, get the feeling, get work out what the game is trying to do, and to accept and enjoy that. Doesn't always happen. And when, you know, I get comments from people who enjoy the game that I didn't enjoy, I'm jealous that they enjoyed it. It's not a thinking that they're silly or that they, it does, you know, thinking they're stupid because they like a game I didn't like. No, that's just dumb. That's just self-centered trash. I'm happy when other people enjoy games, even if I didn't enjoy it. Even if I found myself focusing on the flaws because I, I, again I don't want to obsess over the flaws of games I want to I want to you know <laughs> I want to enjoy it I want to have fun yeah and I want you to have fun so, yeah, at, at the, at a thousand videos, I think is a, is a few, <laughs> it's a, it's a couple. Uh, oh, we can sit in the chair. I, um.
yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for going on this journey. If you've been here from the start or if you've subscribed or unsubscribed at any point, I don't, you know, I like people to stick around, but I can totally understand. I do consistently upload and that can be, I think, a bit much at times. And sometimes I overdo it. I do too many videos in a day or too much of a, a new game or titles can be a bit, you know, excessive or too wordy or they don't say enough or they're not far, short enough all that sort of stuff sort of plays into it but at the same time if you've been anywhere on the journey I appreciate you any amount of you or anything I appreciate you <laughs> it's it's easy to get lost in the numbers and worried about success and failure and all that stuff and it's like any random person on the internet watching anything I've ever made is, I think, a positive. So I'm not going to... Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's easy to just sort of feel like if it's not this much, it's not enough. If it's not this much, I failed. Or if it's not this much, what's the point? When really anything more than... Well, just making it's enough. Just having it up there. Maybe someone will watch it later. Maybe not. I try my best just to not worry about it so much. It's hard. <laughs> As any content creator will tell you, it's hard. But I think it being around has value. And if it all gets scrubbed, if YouTube changes their policies and just deletes it all, well, then that happens too. But at the same time, while it's still up, while it's around... I appreciate that it exists. I appreciate people for watching it. I'm happy I made the content I made and I'll keep making it and I'll keep uploading consistently every day even if the videos don't get seen. The algorithm decides that no one should see them. But they don't even get a chance to click on them. It's like, well, it is what it is in that regard. Copyright claims and all that stuff is always a constant annoyance. But, um, You know, you just navigate the waters you're in. <laughs> I'll run around a little more. Oi! Yeah, so as a variety creator, I make a whole bunch of stuff about a whole bunch of different games, experiencing things for the first time, and so many of the games I play, I would only play them if I was making content because I'm so closed-minded at times with games. And you go, oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good. And I'm so hesitant to give them a chance. And that's part of why this journey matters to me is because it has opened my eyes to other games and seeing things in different light. and. Giving things a chance. Trying to understand what they are. And then finding different things that are quality and going, oh, that's actually a good game. Like Urbex City Builder, I think is a great example. Check it out. <laughs> I just, you know, you get the big AAA games, but it's nice, you know, when the AAA games are good, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice when the smaller developed games are good too. Or they're creative or they try something and if I'm showcasing it, you maybe, you know, you could accuse me of being some sort of paid sponsor or something like that. And that's just not the case. <laughs> yeah. That's just not um that's just not how it is. Which is a good thing I think. And you know, it's not bad to be paid for your work, but at the same time it's like I'm doing this for a fun hobby and And I ain't, I ain't worried about that. I'm just being me, Frosty Fire 10, on the internet, making videos, making, giving hot takes. Expressing an opinion, not being 
trying not to be on the fence, trying to be one way or the other, because you speak with your actions, particularly in, you know, the gaming sphere. You can say a game's a great a million times, but if you don't actually keep playing the game, you just play it once and then never play it again, it says a lot more. <laughs> you know, if you make one video about a game, maybe there's a reason for that. And sometimes that's just a convenience thing. Other times it's a... The videos don't quite... You feel like work as well. But for me, if I think it's good and entertaining, I'll just... It'll be there. If I think it's funny, <laughs> worthwhile, I'll, I'll do it. If it's an impression, worth just showing that impression straight up. No editing to cut out any loading times. No editing to make it seem like it's a totally different game. No clickbait, as much as I can try and avoid that. It's so hard to see when you... Okay, let's zoom out. Zoom out. Not having wings is a... Uh... Is there any wings? Oh god, I'm being attacked. No, no, stop it. Oh god, what am I doing? There we go, there we go. Why are they in my house? Yeah, yeah. Getting distracted while making a video. <laughs> That's kind of my modus operandi at times method of operation is I'm I'm talking about something, I get distracted, things happen, the game happens. And I just forget what I was talking about. That's 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 part of my style to be honest. Wah, 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 wah. Oh yeah, we can do that. That's his sword so good. It's not great. Ember gun. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I just make stuff. Do I worry about the length of videos and things like that? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't. Because it's just... It is the... Showing the game authentically that matters to me. Making sure that people can see it in its entirety, as opposed to just so edited to the point of f pure fabrication. And I see this. I see this a lot with other creators. Sort of part of my, some of my motivation to start creating was just feeling that when you do a review of a game and you cut out load times and you cut out the the boring parts, you don't show the game authentically, and then you present it in a completely false narrative. It's driven by a false narrative. And it's for the sake of entertainment, making the video more entertaining, but I think it does a disservice to the the true experience of the game for the audience looking to purchase the game. They need to know that, that yeah, there's a load long. The load time is a minute or 50 seconds. And then you actually show them. Oh, they're, they're just right there. So I'm hoping to show more than tell for the most part because I, I, I don't know, I believe the audience can work it out. That they can see and understand for themselves, for the most part. That my opinion should be at the end of the video. <laughs> as much as possible. Unless it's really obvious that the issues. And, yeah, so I appreciate the, the intelligence of my audience. And hope that whatever, whoever they are, that they can make up, form their own opinion with just the evidence presented to them and then they can balance that against whatever my opinion is and go, yeah, he didn't like it but I thought it looked okay and then you can make your informed decision following that. I don't know. Is it worth talking about my ethos? Or is it just... Uh...
Yeah. Okay, here's a good spot. There we go. And then we can turn off the... Uh, oh, damn. The controls in this are so crazy. Okay. Yeah, tell me what... And then when I say, you know, tell me what you think, I do hope that people, you know, tell me what they think. And But at the same time, it's, you know, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not... Exp you know, my expectations are... I'm generally optimistic about interaction and comments and things. And I'll stay that way. Because I think it's a more... You know, yeah. Maybe someone will answer that in a year. And if they catch, they find the video a year later and they there's a question in it, they'll respond to it. And I'll give it a like and a heart. <laughs> That's... If it's, you know, something worth... If it's something I can add by responding to the comments, then I will. Otherwise... We'll see. Because sometimes that you know, a comment is a statement, not a question. Not a desire for interaction or a validation of one's own thoughts, but more of a expression of opinion. And it's like, well, you don't need to respond to that. Or do you? It's kind of one of those tricky parts about the whole YouTube experience. <laughs> Let's go back in the house. I swear the controls have all changed. It's a mad game, Terraria. Mad game. Oh, let's go back in. Oh, I should have really put a door there. What am I saying? <laughs> Restating my opinion is this is the point of the video where I restate my opinions. But this is it's like a thousand videos. One thousand videos. I think I gotta do more playlists. Organize them at the videos a bit better. Yes, I gotta do that. They'd always worry about it affecting the algorithm, rightly or wrongly. So I do have to organize them so that they're easier to find, but at the same time you search a, a game title and you put Frosty Fire 10 after it and my video will pop up. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, the game reviews, I try to be as concise as I can, but then I'll, I'll, if, you know, if I can show you something important, I will. But I do like to talk. <laughs> like this video is sort of showing, I do talk and don't, not always just swinging my weapon, distracting you. So if I just do that, just swing the weapon. Oh my god, don't, don't you dare. Oh my god, how can this happen? I'm in the middle of the video. Okay, 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 let's, let's fend off these pirates while I... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's the thing about games is they they do have a momentum of their own. Same with any media, really. There is a push forward. Um, here we go. And things happen, and I like to respond to them. Is that pseudo react content i suppose it is but i feel like i'm initiating part of it so it's less you be good as okay so they're approaching from these all right let's get in i've got a spot designed for the uh pirate invasion So let's go. Uh, yep. Yep. And we go there. No, there. Um, 
Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and we'll go... I think one of these will do. Uh, and I think we'll shoot that down there. Uh, and we'll get the Betsy out. Oh, they're shooting up at me. So yeah. <laughs> Whoa. There goes close. Maybe I should put the, uh, that there. Oh wait, you could, there, that's it. I focused on defense, so it should be okay until the pirate ship shows up and then I'll just have to get some mine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's switch to that. Yeah. Um, with the live streams, I'll continue doing them. I should do more than I feel. It really does depend on the game at times. But then again, maybe just to, you know, I should definitely be more consistent with streaming side of it. Streaming on YouTube. I think that's fair. Um, Elden Ring DLC, I'm looking forward to that. I'll stream that when that comes out. I think that's it's kind of a given. Um, but yeah. So we're going to decide what sort of... I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be implemented. I suppose that's something worth talking about. Whether it's post uh, Elden Feast or if it's, you know, before. I would assume it would be before, knowing, you know, with Dark Souls 3. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll make a separate video talking about that. Yeah, so... Oh, oh, can we go a little further up? Okay. Okay, so now we have the pirate ship. And now we have Betsy's sword. Everything in the world is so much easier. So you saw I put the, the walls there. That kind of means that I can cut things off. It's actually quite clever on my part, to be honest. Not to toot my own horn, but... uh. Okay, now I'm going to aim a little bit higher. A little bit lower. I think we've gone move across. Yeah, there. Oh, we're getting killed. God damn. Alright, come on. Here we go. Just get rid of some of these dudes. Yeah! Okay, have we got... Okay, there we go. Bloody angry members. I think I've got a chest for a pirate goods. Oh, we can check all this thing. Um, yeah. Coin gun? Nice. We've got some good money here. Oh, golden bathtub. The black spot. Nice. It's always good to have multiple mounts of the characters. Alright. So, let's get back to... Is it this level? I think it was the level above. Oh, it's not bad. Let's keep it zoomed out. So, so, okay, 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 what am I <laughs> distracted? Yeah, this video is going to be longer than it should be, but that's just my whole channel. So, <laughs> it's kind of a theme. I don't know.
yeah this is our frosty fly 10 and uh yeah this is how i do it um if i'm making like guides and things that's all concise and quick and smart and snappy but if it's you know a celebration of 1000 videos on youtube i think i uh, afford myself a little uh length leniency And, uh, yeah, I hope, you know, I do hope people enjoy the videos. As much as I've tried not to worry too much about views and all that sort of stuff, I do like it when people say that they enjoy them and, you know, you get that positive rush of, <gasps> and when they say thank you and things, and then there's an update and then suddenly your video becomes irrelevant. <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff happens too. I do have to, uh... I always forget to change the title on my Planet Coast videos, which I've got to change because I've got anecdotal evidence that it's contrary, but having said that, I probably should canvas a wider audience. Yeah, I do. I do. I do, I do. This is me doing. I'm not just saying, I'm doing. But yeah, I am. Uh, Wow. Wow. I hope you enjoy it. I hope going forward that you know there's a time and place for my content in people's lives, I suppose. That's, I suppose that's being optimistic, but that's kind of it. I want to be positive. I, I don't want to be dooming. I don't want to be just saying every game's crap. I'm not, don't subscribe to the theory of, oh, I'm bored of games now. Oh, I wish I could, I, I don't like games like I used to. Oh, what the hell are you on about? You change every day. <laughs> But the fundamental of games is pressing buttons. It's literally pressing buttons and getting a response. It's going up to a computer and being able to interact with it and have something change because of your interaction. It's the most basic of things. It is... It's, and people talk about games being addictive, you know, addictive gameplay loops and things. I'm like, what are you on about? <laughs> You're pressing buttons, you're getting a reward for pressing the button. You're gonna keep pressing the button. It's it's quite simple. It's lights and sounds and all this background play a part, definitely. You go to a, you know, slots at a casino and all that, and you can see it all in action. But for the most part, gaming is better than that. <laughs> in my mind at least is fun and I want to have fun but at the same time I do always want to bring it back to I think games being overpriced <laughs> and if they're not overpriced I think they can be appreciated I think it's worth going oh this actually isn't overpriced it's actually worthwhile and as I say the victim <laughs> the victim the thief of joy is comparison. So as soon as you start comparing Elden Ring to everything else, <laughs> well, you know, you're going to have some disappointment in your life. Or are you comparing, you know, WoW or any, you know, Diablo 2 to Diablo 4, if you're a big Diablo 2 fan, or, you know, Starcraft. Old Age of Empires to New Age of Empires. We always come back to these change for the sake of change as games go forward and then what is iteration and evolution what is development what are the what are the innovations in gaming are they just going backwards because they can't see how they can surpass the past or is it just purely graphical improvements but then you get remakes that are quality so and you go oh the remake did make the game better but then 
as soon as people start talking about their memories and like, I'll do the same thing sometimes where you think oh back in the past the game was like it felt like this and this and that's just how you and the game interacted at that time and how the the context changes as you grow or your perceptions of the some sort of inherent political things in a game change you interpret things differently as you grow as you grow older as you recede not necessarily growing it's all experience and you know I, I think it's fine to express those things but I do get a little bit annoyed when I see people going, oh, gaming is boring now. Oh, if you find fun gaming boring now. Oh, I don't like gaming anymore. What are you on about? <laughs> try some different games. Try things you wouldn't try. Open your mind a little bit. Oh, why is that flashing? Flashing bad. It's so easy to become closed minded. So easy. And it's a it's a constant battle to overcome that. To see things differently. To even try to see things differently. Oh gosh. Oh then. Okay. I don't mean to be lecturing or belittling that, because I think it's up to you. You don't have to see things differently if you don't want. You can, you can keep, and you can compare every game to one game that you think is the best game ever. Totally reasonable. I can disagree. Totally reasonable. You can have disagreements. <laughs> That's fine. You know, you don't have to get violent or threats of violence or anything like that it does disappoint me when I see that when people express an opinion and others respond with threats of you know all that sort of stuff it's like why are you going that direction just confront what you disagree with and move on or let it sink into the void it's like yeah, just pointing, sometimes pointing out bad opinions is publicizing them, <laughs> marketing them. And, if, you know, if, if you no know, one mentions the person who's got an opinion they disagree with, then no one knows that person's opinion. <laughs> it doesn't spread. It's, Wait, did you hear that person's opinion? It's horrible. Well, you just advertised for them. Congrats. You supported them. It's, it blows my mind at times. It is what it is, though. You're free to support people you disagree with. And if you don't realise that you're supporting them, then you're an idiot. But it's okay to be an idiot, too. Because I'm an idiot. Jesus. <sighs> Me thinking people are idiots for supporting people they disagree with. Terrible. <sighs> but yeah. I'm at this point in the video where I can just be more free now. See? 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 I, I assume everyone leaves. Well, I don't assume anything, though. It's just that this is 1,000 videos, man. 1,000 videos of differing lengths. And you're saying, oh, it could be 1,000 TikTok and 1,000 YouTube shorts. Oh, I'm about to die. 1,000 TikTok <laughs> YouTube shorts amounting to 1,000 hours of content. It's like, wow. No, nope. it's 1,000 YouTube videos. The vast majority of them being long. The vast majority being... 30 minutes to an hour. So much. But at the same time, I feel like I've held back. I feel like I could have uploaded way more. So I've controlled myself. I've restrained myself in only uploading. So much. <laughs> oh, we're 
in the blizzard. We can get um, ice too. If we want some ice cores. Oh, I built this. This is something I prepared earlier. Uh, let me switch that. Maybe we can get one. Is there one over there? Oh, there's a wolf. Okay, good sign. There we go. There's a big boy. There we go. Come on, come on. I also dug the uh, side of the cliff there, so we can't climb up further. Yeah, we can just farm up for a second. Hmm. Okay, what else can I say that's controversial? <laughs> it's towards the end of the video. What's controversial? Um, so much of my content creation is sort of... I do base a little bit of my intent around a discussion I heard between Markiplier and Jacksepticeye in the Power Wash... Um, sort of Power Wash chat, where they're just sort of... You know, they're just Power Washing in Power Wash Simulator. And talking about content creation and trying to be, you know, free of what's the expectations of creation. So free of people going, oh, you should make this and that, or they're feeling themselves within themselves, they're obliged to do this and that, and then losing their spontaneity and desire to create what they want to create. So I try my best to mix in pretty much 99% of my content really is what I think what I want to make and then there's the 1% of this makes sense to me that I should make that that should that makes sense so starting at the end basically jumping to the end point rather than going on the, the journey of trying to meet the expectations of others it's a start at the end I'll just do what I want to do for the most part Yeah, pretty selfish in the end, isn't it? But I think that in terms of mentally, mental health-wise and all that, I think that's the way to go. Even if it doesn't, you know, it's not the smartest, most efficient way to grow the channel and all that sort of stuff. That doesn't... No. What matters is I feel good. And I go, ooh, I made that. And like, ooh. Oh, we've got some plenty of ice cores. And my ultimate goal, which has been everything I'm trying to do with my channel, comes back to this fundamental. I want to make content, and I'm trying my best to make content that I would watch. And some of the stuff I originally watched when I, you know, you know got into watching YouTube was like. Like, the full, like, Alan Wake playthrough. Stuff like that. Full playthroughs of games, and with commentary or without, doesn't... No, either way, I do... I think I do prefer commentary. I try to balance it again by not talking in cutscenes, so you can sort of get the mix of the two, so you can see the game, experience the game, get the gameplay, and then you can get a person joining you on the journey as you're watching the game. You know, explaining their thoughts and feelings and how they justifying their pressing of the button and what sort of how they play and you can feel that of course even without commentary you can feel how they interact with things and their thought process my chronic inability to solve puzzles when we get trapped and <laughs> getting you know, utterly confused and and you can just skip ahead of course but it Oh, I'm not going to trip it anymore. Maybe. Look at them. Look at them pulses. Is this slime rain during a thunderstorm? Keep going. Oh. Oh, a meteor on your body. Ah!
Yeah. So yeah, I'm a PlayStation 5 creator. <laughs> PlayStation 5. Doesn't mean I'm supported by them in the slightest. The share factory is uh, something I'm trying to avoid as much as possible. But maybe I'll do more sort of creative things with that in the future. Wow. Oh, let's do that actually. That's it. Anything else I'd like to say? Is there anything you'd like to uh, share with the audience in these last moments? Um, again, reiterate, thank you for watching. This is kind of a diary of a gamer sort of situation. It's like, you played this and played that and this is the experience you had and you can look back on it and go, yeah, I played that, and I played that, and I thought this and that. And then I can compare it when I watch other creators and go, well, what do they think about it? And then I go, well, I thought this, and he's my bro. We'll go, well, what what do you think of this? Well, I thought this, and he's the, 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 he's the stream of me playing the game and experiencing that moment. Well, here it is. It's there. Here's the evidence. And it has value to me to have experienced things and to have it up so and have people with me like people in the chat in stream and people in the comments and <laughs> relating to my experience or trying to give me support in tough boss battles <laughs> it's just it does mean a lot at the, even though at the time I'm you know full of rage and absolutely losing my mind it, it feels good you know it feels good to have people there and you know I hope I hope you know I, you know, I always appreciate it you're all sappy and all that sort of stuff but Yeah. One thousand videos, man. One thousand. Woman, child, human. It. Yeah, one thousand videos. Fellow humans. And the bots, too. I don't really get much any bot stuff. Except for. I think I only had early on. on some, some early streams had, like, bots do spam message stuff. But. Not really much of that. The algorithm doesn't even let the bots discover me. I'm hidden, protected by YouTube's algorithm. If you uh, want any tips, <laughs> tips and tricks, um, the obvious tip and trick is it's really really basic but if you want views on a video pick something that just came out and then upload something about it the moment it came out like there is a an obvious sort of preference by YouTube to new stuff about something new that people are searching for so getting your keywords right obviously that matters, that matters a lot. But it's mostly just giving it to YouTube when YouTube wants it. So again, playing all the games and all that sort of stuff leads you to the wings of the, uh, the machine. And then just don't worry about it. Easier said than done, but just don't, don't let it be what dictates your worth. Because it doesn't. It's nice though. <laughs> it's nice to get these, but yeah. 
I always come back to. I get humbled a lot by the, uh, the copyright lines and things, so I always come back to the, the fundamental of more than you know, just one view. If it's not me pumping my own, <laughs> trying to pump my own damn video, just one view is a lot. So when I hear people go, it only got at five thousand views on their thing, or it only got ten thousand views or a hundred thousand views, and I'm just like, mate, mate, wake the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Getting more than one view is a lot. And means a lot. Yeah. Eternally humbled I am as a creator. <laughs> oh yeah, this is um the fast asphalt. Yeah, back to the safe haven of the house, which I blocked the bloody door off. God damn it. All my day blooms. Alright. Um, let's sit on a chair. I see a good one. Let's see. So yeah. Yeah, I, I say so yeah a lot. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's a harsh thing at times, content creation, if you're trying to make money out of it or something. I'm like, good luck with that. But I think keeping yourself grounded and humble and just being appreciative that anyone would ever watch anything you'd ever create is the way to go. <laughs> For me, at least. I appreciate yous. Yeah. I appreciate that's about yous. 2024? Should be a good year. You never know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, that said, Elden Ring DLC. Um, Helldivers? I'm considering Helldivers. I know a Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is getting very positive reception so is Yakuza Infinite Wealth like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and I played the one before that which is really good but I don't know sometimes I I don't know I just feel like it I always I, I, yeah <laughs> it comes back to finances Making you got to choose between these games to give to give your time to whichever game, and you only have so much time and so much money. Yeah. So whatever, whatever will be will be. More first impressions will come out. Maybe I'll do more. Yeah, I'll try to do more strings. Trying to do more. How far? Yeah, naturally, I'm gonna just push this to an hour. <laughs> no, I don't push any video duration, it just happens. Oh no. I just wrap it on. I just wrap it on at times. Wrap it on in the comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the Earth is flat? I, I, I don't think the Earth is flat. Oh. But then again, we can disagree, and that's fine. I won't think any less of you. I'll try not to. Stand over here. Next to the sink. YouTube? Um, yeah, I'll say to, thanks to YouTube for letting me upload and hosting my videos on their, their platform. See? 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 I mentioned YouTube and said a positive thing about them. Hopefully they recommend the video. God damn. That side of things is madness. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you, if you subscribe. That's a big thing. I do appreciate, appreciate you. 
thanks for checking out the channel, going on the channel page and going, oh my god, there's so many more videos, but they weren't, they didn't pop up on my feed. And then click on them. That's 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 tremendous. If you do that, I'm uh, yeah. Oof, oh my goodness. There's one every day. One every day. But uh, you know. <clears throat> so let me segue into the lack of impressions. It's just because the YouTube algorithm doesn't like me because I keep getting proper acclaimed for things and some streamer modes on games don't work properly and just absolutely obliterate my impressions. And yeah, that'd just be me complaining. When I just got to appreciate whatever I can get. Whatever I can get. And just be happy. That I got games to play. Shit, so many games to play. Darkest Dungeon Run, still going. I've just got to upgrade the. I'm really struggling with it, honestly. Because the keys. You definitely got to name your characters. Truth. Truth telling moment. Um, Disco Elysium. I'm enjoying that. So, if, you know, check that out. Uh, Resident Evil 4 run. I gotta keep going with that. Although I'm having trouble with the game because I just feel like the enemies are a pain in the ass. <laughs> and there's so many of them. And I don't like shooting things multiple times in the head to kill them. So there's that. Okay. Oh, soldier on! I've still got the Elden Ring Cypher Pattern run to finish. And I'll stream that. We should get that done before the DLC comes out. Honestly though, it's tough. I'm up to the part where I gotta beat Melania, Elden Beast. Quarreloo. Just got to get them done with Cypher Patter, which is tough. But I've already compromised and used the Mimic, so I'm bloody, you know. I had to. <laughs> bloody tough. I had so much trouble on Margaret, it was crazy. It was so crazy, I was like, wow, it's not this hard, but then it just was. It just was this hard all of a sudden. Mad game, Elden Ring. Mad game. Um. Still got to beat Moon Lord on Master Difficulty, which is what we're on here. And add some music in the background. Free music. Thanks to Share Factory. But yeah. And then the other ones. So. There's always more to be done. I'm never out of ideas. But I still, you know, want to keep trying new games and experiencing new things and... Expanding my horizons. Maybe doing more little edit stuff and be more creative, but I know I feel like sometimes you're just disingenuous with what you show when you edit too much and try to balance all those factors and make videos that are so long that people don't watch to the end. <laughs> or do they? Sometimes they do. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Why am I rabbing on? I just, I just cannot stop myself rabbing on. I just keep talking. I never, I never worry when it comes to the quality of my output because I, I know the world is full of output. It's not always great, but who am I to decide what's good and not? Because. The whole thing, not a lot of things really make sense. So I'm, I'm, that's that's my leeway there. Things don't make sense, so I'm not going to worry about trying to make sense of other things. <laughs> it's kind of a, oh, oh, and then, okay, well then I'll just do what I want to do. You do what you want to do. As long as it's not harmful to others. And, uh, yeah. Have a great 2024. Um, 1,000 videos. I just keep saying it. 1,000 videos. I did it. <laughs> and I'll keep going. It's like... When you get those moments when they people say, oh, just, just do it. Just do it. Well, <laughs> here is me doing it. It is doing. It is being done. Look, it is there. The runs are on the board. And don't expect nothing out of no audience. I don't expect nothing. Expectations are for silly people.
I just try and deliver what I want to... I believe myself worthy of delivering. Worthy. Not even worthy. Just, I just... I'm going to upload. And that's that's it. It's going to keep coming. More and more content. A thousand years. I'm going to make so much content that I can schedule for a thousand years. I don't know. Maybe. There'll be a whole library though. There's, there is a whole, already a whole library of content. People will discover the channel and go, Did he play that game? Did they play that game? Did he play that game? And they'll go, wait a second. Frosty by 10 did play that game. And they made a video about it. Or they just whole streamed the whole game of it. They streamed all of God of War Ragnarok. The whole playthrough. 56 hours. And then they'll watch it. And they'll enjoy it. And go, This guy's alright. And it'll be there. Be there. No shortage. The well is deep. The veins of the ore, the uranium. Endless, endless content forever and ever. And I enjoyed making every goddamn minute of it. And this video is super long too. That's how it is. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Honestly, lots of the videos that end up being an hour, I don't even think about it. It just becomes an hour. I've got it capped at an hour, so I can't make it longer. That's the truth of it. I'm, if otherwise, I'd make them like two hours or three hours. But it's like, I capped it at an hour. <laughs> and some, plus sometimes I just get cut off. I'm just like, all right, ever see it? And then I just cut, cut off. But, um, yeah. That's what streams are for. What do you think of these walls? They're actually pretty nice. Alright, let's zoom out. Alright. Um, I shall end it here. <laughs> but uh, I will be back with more content. Forever and ever. And uh, whether you click on it or not is up to you. No pressure. No pressure at all. You do you, I'll do videos. And, um, yeah. Off to the, uh, into the distance. Forever and ever. Oh, oh I just smashed the dagger. Oh, God. One thousand videos, man. Woman, child, human. It's been a long journey. But, um, yeah. I don't regret nothing. I also split the audio in this. So, like, I can't actually hear the game at all. Sorry, you can hear it. I can't. Sorry. Um, I don't know what the game sounds like. Whether the music is pumping. Or any of that sort of stuff. But, uh... Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. There, there. there. I'll catch you next time. Like and subscribe. See, I say it at the end. I always say it at the end. Like and subscribe, but I don't say it at the start. Maybe I should say it at the start. Who knows? Just get straight into the video. But yeah, it's been Frosted Fire 10. 1,000 video commemoration video, com video, video, 1,000 videos. 1,000, 1,000. And then the, the live streams. Don't, no, I need 1,000 live streams. That'll take time. I appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful 2024.